first evolution of the PID controller was developed in 1911 by Elmer Sperry for the U.S. Navy. However, it wasn't until 1933 that the Taylor Instrumental Company introduced the first pneumatic controller with a fully tunable proportional controller. A couple of years later, control engineers were tasked with figuring out how to eliminate the steady state error found in the proportional controller by resetting the set point to some artificial value as long as the error wasn't zero. This resetting integrated the error and became known as the proportional integral, also known as the PI controller. Then, in 1940, Taylor Instrumental Company developed the first PID pneumatic controller with a derivative action, which reduced overshooting issues. By the mid-1950s, PID controllers began being widely adopted for industrial use. PID stands for Proportional Integral Derivative. PID control provides a continuous variation of output within a control loop feedback mechanism to accurately control the process, removing oscillation and increasing process efficiency. These controllers are instruments which are used to regulate temperature, flow, pressure, and other process variables. PID controllers are widely used in industrial control systems and a variety of other applications requiring continuously modulated control. Today the PID concept is used universally in applications requiring accurate and optimized automatic control. A PID controller continuously calculates an error value, which is the error relative to time as the difference between a desired set point and a measured process value, and applies a correction based on proportional, integral, and derivative terms, denoted P, I, and D, respectively, hence the name. 